This is a kitchen craft Cook's blowtorch. It runs on butane light fuel, it can work at any angle and it'll last six, 60 minutes. It's great for toast, it's great for searing steaks, what creme brulee. What the lay. fuck is that? This is a, this is a kitchen craft Cook's blowtorch. It looks like it's shrunk in the wash. That is not a blowtorch. This is a fucking blowtorch. What are you doing with that? You're just going to incinerate things with that. This is a burns matic TS1100E plumber's blowtorch. It uses mixed propane but butane gas to achieve over 1200 degrees centigrade and puts out 800 watts of power through this brass tip which does something scientific. This is a fucking blowtorch. We're wanting to do cookery, not soldering. Well, that thing's barely going to get anything warm. Oh, let's We're going to do light a candle with it. Let's try it out, shall we? All right, you're on. What we need is a control. Yeah, okay, we're going to need something that is sufficiently crap that even that might beat it. Hello. Paul! Paul! What now? This is the DCNL DC104. Pistol grip, hair dryer. Do I have to do this? You oh, really yes. do. Pistol grip is, I'm told, the, uh, the most popular form factor for hair drying. Now, it, um, it operates at a maximum wattage of 1600 watts. Oh, that's more than your blowtorch here. Yep, I'm sure it will outperform it easily. Yep, that's the one with the power. You've got uh -huh. the big one, Paul. The big, masculine, pink hair dryer. Yep, right. I wanted to test our blowtorches by roasting a whole steer on the run, but I was outvoted. So instead, we settled for something a little more practically useful. A Sainsbury's creme brulee. Alex was the first up. So... The Cook's Broke Blowtorch. Lovely uh, caramel smell coming off this now. It's actually uh, caramelising the thing rather nicely. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. It takes a little while to get done. Yeah. Also, I can't help feeling that this thing's running out of gas. Yep, that's basically no flame at all. The charge had lasted less than a minute, but I refilled, and with the time ticking away, Got back to work. Yeah, that's nice. One perfectly caramelised creme brulee. There was no way Hugh's flamethrower was going to beat that. Right, this should be pissy. I've got an actual blowtorch as opposed to the cigarette lighter that Alex was using. Prepare for the power. Now the, the thing about caramelising sugar is when you're caramelising it, what you're actually doing is breaking it down from sucrose into its component sugars, fructose and bloody hell, glucose. Um, and the thing is that then, okay that's caramelising quickly, these are reducing sugars, so they actually, re thank you, I know, recombine to form over 200 different compounds, including esters, and uh, I think we'll just leave that to kill the moment. Um, well, it's caramelising. You've not really got the fine control that you'd have the smaller one. But, but it, it's caramelising. That is a quick caramelisation. I think you missed a bit in the corner there. Oh, bollocks. <clears throat> so I'm pointing a hot flame very close to my genitals. I can't see what could possibly go wrong with this. And we're done. That is caramelised. It's, it's caramelised. What more do you want? All right, three, two, one, go. The hairdryer idea isn't quite as stupid as it sounds. In fact, I've seen several people recommend that if you don't have a blowtorch, you can use a hairdryer to caramelise creme brulee. But it's still pretty stupid. Right. I'm it's covered good. in sugar, Hugh. Oh, there's still enough left, keep going. There's a bit left, right?
Right, well, it looks like we're going to have some time here. So, interesting story about creme brulee, actually. Um, the scufflebox at Trinity College, Cambridge, is that creme brulee was invented there in the 18th century. In England. They called it college burned cream. It was only much later, when the recipe got down to London, that they invented a pretentious French name for it. So it's a very English dish, which consists basically of getting custard and then doing something to fuck it up. Hair dryer option. Obligatory Star Trek II moment. Full power, damn you! That grain of sugar just there, that one grain is a bit darker than all the others. Is that caramelizing even a bit? No. Wait a minute, I wanted to withdraw before we'd even started and you said no. Which is why I didn't tell you that rule until now. Right, so now I'm allowed to withdraw. Yep, yep. Okay. The results were in, and the atmosphere was tense. Well, tense-ish. Okay, so Alex is successfully caramelised in 3 minutes, 24.3. And we've got it here. Yeah, there's a... Oh, yeah, it, it tinks, it tinks. It's also got a bit of hair in it, but I think I might just drop that in there. Yeah, nice, nice, man. Nice. There we go, right. Um. That's pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Well, actually, well, admittedly, past this creme brulee, which is really quite nice. But, um, Camelization works treat that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. I'll turn that up to success. Next up for scrutiny was my effort. I was not expecting the sweet taste of victory here. 11 minutes, 56.07. Does it tink? Doesn't look like it. It does not tink. That's not tinking. Oh dear. But it did melt the sugar. But presumably it has not set off all those reactions you were talking about. That looks lovely. Yep, that's that nice. A touch on the underdone side, don't you think? In the kind of brown and wobblies then. That tastes like custard. Mm. Which it is. Yep. And now it was time for the real man to blow torch. Using the, the propane butane mix. And you did it in one minute, 53.3 seconds. So that's over a minute and a half faster than, than the nearest content. That's true, yeah. But the puny blowtorch. It's looking a bit dark, it has to be said. Um, it looks fine. It does go tink. It does go tink. It's all over as well. That's kind of sharp, actually. It's got sharp edges. Well, it's not as... It's crunchy. It's not actually burnt. It's alright. I think I preferred mine. In fact, everyone preferred mine. Which naturally meant that Hugh still argued that he had won. I think I possibly preferred yours slightly as well, but mine was still twice as fast. That's true, but you know, in food, and food, speed isn't everything. I was using a proper blowtorch. It's true, but you know, I think with cookery, you know, sometimes you've got... All right, all right. Taste, I, I will, I will allow done. that possibly on that particular test, and possibly due to operator inexperience, the shit blowtorch was not shit. Well, I think there's one thing we can agree on, though. What? We both were better than the head right? Yes. <laughs> Wasteland. Full of Neds. Well, there's a menu here. Monday, breakfast, porridge. Monday, lunch, porridge. Uh, leek and potato soup. Nice. Yeah. Parsnip soup. 
carrot soup. And we'll see the theme here. <laughs>